Good morning, friends. My name is Paige, and this is Storytime at Home. It's brought to you by the Arapaho Library District. Today's story time, we're going to visit the great outdoors. But first, we're going to start with the good morning song. And it sounds like the happy birthday melody. Ready? Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good morning, dear friends. It's nice to see you. Okay. There's the great outdoors. Do you like to go outside? I do too. Do you like to bike? Or ride in a wagon? Or walk around your neighborhood? Or go hiking? We can go hiking here and cross a bridge that goes over a river. We could camp. We can rent that yurt to camp. We can have a picnic at the picnic table. Grill some food or some s'mores. We can look at all the tall pine trees. There's some rocks up here. There's a mountain goat too. There's a lot to enjoy in the great outdoors. Well, we've got a river and a lake. We can raft too. Let's do that. Do you know Row, Row, Row Your Boat? Let's sing Row, Row, Row Your Boat. You ready? Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. That's nice. Excellent. Oh, look. My friend Jorge has joined us. He's driven up in his Jeep. He's got a nice sturdy Jeep with uh, strong wheels and a sturdy frame because he has to drive over a lot of uneven terrain, which is rocky roads and dirt roads, and they can be very bumpy. Hey Jorge, how's it going? Oh, he wants me to share some information with you. He's got a pack. Th these are some good tools for rangers and for people who are out in the great outdoors. The first thing that he has is a map. Make sure it's not upside down. There's a map! A map is a handy thing. It can show you hiking trails and roads and different mountains so you know where you're going and how to get back. That's a good thing to have. What else you got in here, Jorge? <gasps> Ooh, very smart. He's got a canteen of water. It's good to have a lot of water when you're out hiking and doing things in the mountains. Oh, he's got a compass. That's a good thing to have. It can tell you if you're headed north or south or east or west. That's good to know. And he's got a shovel. The handle even folds so it fits in his pack. And if he comes to a campground and the fire's not completely out, he can dig some dirt and put it on the fire and smother it and make sure the fire is completely out. And that is a very good thing. What else is in here? Oh, he's got, whoop, he's got a radio. That's a good thing to have too. It can help him keep in communication with his colleagues in case he gets a flat tire or something, or someone needs help, or maybe the weather is going to change really quickly and he needs to know that. That's important too. You gotta be aware of the weather when you're out in the great outdoors. Hmm. And the last thing he's got in here, binoculars. Very cool. Those are really helpful for looking at different animals and wildlife when you're out and about. Do you have binoculars? Do you ever pretend you have binoculars? Let's do that. Let's put our hands up to our eyes like this. Oh, I see some trees and grass and clouds. Lots of clouds today. Oh, well, sometimes you can see some fun things. Excellent. Thanks, Jorge. Is there anything else you want us to know? Oh, he said there's been a bear in the area. That's important to know. 
when you're camping, you want to keep safe from bears, so you have to put your food away so that the bears don't eat your Cheetos, because bears aren't supposed to eat Cheetos. They're supposed to eat berries. Thanks, Jorge. We'll be careful. All right. We'll see you soon. Thanks for stopping by. Let's take his Jeep down. Goodbye, Jeep. Let's... Bye, Jorge. Have a good day. And we'll take the grid outdoors down because Jorge mentioned a bear. And that reminds me of a story that I made up about a bear who is curious about camping. So here's our bear. He's saying, hey, let's make sure he's really stuck up there. And let's give him a setting. Here's a tree. That's a good setting. And some rocks. Because this bear, of course, is in the great outdoors. So I made up this silly story about a bear and camping. When you go camping, sometimes things go missing. I don't know why. I think it's because when everyone's out hiking, a bear comes along. He finds your yellow sock and he puts it on. Oh, bear. He's waving your sock. And when everyone's fishing, a bear comes along. He finds your pajama top. Here it is. I'll show it to you. And he puts it on. Oh, goodness, bear. Is that how a pajama top goes? Is that how you wear your pajama top? Me neither. But he doesn't know. When everyone's swimming, a bear comes along. He finds your hiking boot. Oh, and he puts it on. Hey. He's ridiculous. When you're out picking flowers, a bear comes along. He finds a toothbrush. Oh, and he puts it on. Oh no. He put your toothbrush in his ear. Is that how you use a toothbrush? No. I think when you get home, you'll need to get a new toothbrush. And when everyone's sleeping, a bear comes along. He finds your bunny slippers. And he puts them on. He looks so fantastic. Oh my goodness. Well, our camping trip is over. We've got to pack up. So we're driving from the campsite. And a bear comes along. He's wearing all your clothes. And he waves. So long. Bye, bear. I don't think I would collect my clothes from him. I think I'd just let him keep it. Especially the toothbrush. Yeah. Oh, well. Goodbye, bear. Alright, we're going to take this bear down. And I'm going to show you another bear. I have another bear. And this bear lives in a tree. Sometimes bears live in tree stumps or old trees. Let's see if I can get it up here without dropping everything. Oh, there we go. There's our tree house. Very nice. I've made up a little song about this bear. And it goes to London Bridge. Bear lives in the maple tree, maple tree, maple tree. Bear lives in the maple tree with his neighbors. Do you have neighbors? Yeah? I have people neighbors and I have animal neighbors. I have a hummingbird neighbor. I have robins nesting in my tree. And I have rabbits and squirrels. Do you have squirrels? I have snake neighbors and moth neighbors. I don't like them as much. Uh, or mosquito neighbors. They're really not my favorite neighbors. Um, 
Oh, I have hawk neighbors and falcon neighbors and owl neighbors. And one time I had a coyote neighbor. Oh, I had a coyote neighbor. He kind of looked like this. He was uh, very light colored and fuzzy and furry. And he curled up under my tree. Yep, I did. Curled up under the tree. Took a nap. Thanks for stopping by. Bye! And I have a fox family neighbor. Neighbors. Here we go. Yes, that's right. We live across the street. We just moved in, uh, I don't know, February or March. I forgot my calendar, so don't really know. But we've got four kits, which are baby foxes, and we've got uh, three adult foxes. So there's seven of us living across the street from Miss Page. And I think we're very good neighbors. We like to jump in the grass and run around and uh, stuff like that. Sometimes we cut through her yard when we're just uh, exploring the neighborhood. She doesn't mind which is nice, although uh, I understand sometimes we wake her up by uh, yelping in the middle of the night. So, uh, yeah, sorry about that. It's all right, it happens. It's just how you are. Yep, yep it is. All right then, nice to meet you, bye. We also have deer. We have deer neighbors. This is a moose. We don't have moose neighbors, but mooses and deers are related. They are family. So we have some deer neighbors, but not mooses. Oh, that's too bad. It is too bad. It would be interesting to see a moose. Yeah, we're pretty interesting. Well, I know. Oh, he's goofy. I wonder who the bear neighbors are. The bear's neighbors. Let's open the bear's door and meet the bear. Oh. There he is. There's our bear in his treehouse. Let's move him over. It looks like he's ready for a tea party. That'd be kind of fun. I wonder who lives in his house with him. Oh, up here. Let's check behind this leaf. Oh, he has a beehive full of bees. He's got bee neighbors. I've got bee neighbors too, big fat bumblebees. There we go, there's a bee. Hmm. It takes 570 bees to make one cup of honey. I thought that was very interesting, so I'm sharing that with you. Hmm. And what else do you have in your house? Oh, here's a neighbor. There it is. There's a squirrel up there. Look at that. This is called an Abert squirrel, and they live here in Colorado, too. And they eat ponderosa pine cones. Do you eat pine cones? No, me neither. Pine nuts are good, though, but not pine cones. And what else do you have here? Who lives here? Oh, yeah, an owl. There's an owl. This is a great horned owl. Yep, they have two to three eggs every winter. And these are not actually horns. They're called plumicorns, and they just help the horned owl blend into the tree bark. Very cool. These guys live in Colorado too. And what else do you have? Oh, here's a neighbor down there. It's a chipmunk. Here's a chipmunk. These guys live here in Colorado. This is called a least chipmunk. It's the smallest chipmunk and eats snacks. It snacks on seeds, berries, nuts, and bugs. Do you snack on bugs? I don't, at least not on purpose. So here's a chipmunk. And here's our friend, a bear. This is a grizzly bear. He's waving at us, he's friendly. All grizzlies are brown bears, but not all brown bears are grizzly bears. And we don't have Colorado grizzly bears anymore. But we have some in the zoo. So that's really cool. We still get to see these guys. 
and he's waving at us. And that makes me think he should join us for our goodbye song. Let's put him here. And where did I put my goodbye song? Oh, here it is. There we go. I say song because I sometimes sing it, but we're going to chant it. And it goes like this. Wave up high. Wave down low. Wave them fast. And wave them slow. Wave like me. Let's wave like this bear here. Get some claws. Wave to the moon. Hey, moon. Wave them silly. Let's do this. We'll see you soon. Mwah. Thanks for watching Storytime at Home. If you want to watch more story times at home, you can watch, go to the ArapahoLibraries.org webpage or you can go straight to YouTube and search Arapaho Library District Story Times, and we should pop up there. Uh, on our um, webpage, we're on the 0 to 5 page, and we'd love to see you again. Thanks for stopping by and have a good day. Bye.